right, guys. I'm on my way to pick up my buddy Zeke, and we're heading to Import Face Off in Portland at Woodburn Drag Strip. So I figured on the way over to his place, might as well as do a quick little review on the Mega Racing inner tie rods and the rear transmission bushing. So the trans bushing is what I'm gonna start with. I noticed that when you're shifting, it definitely allows you to slide into gear more confidently. <laughs> like anytime you go into gear, it's just more pronounced. When I was looking into it, it said that the approach angle would change, so it would essentially raise the back of the transmission a little bit. That way, when you go to shift, it's more of just a straight on shift instead of like, for example, sometimes when you shift into third, it feels kind of like the shifter drops. Whereas this, it just feels completely parallel all the time. It also doesn't allow the transmission to move as much. So if you're like me and you tend to drive with your hand on the shifter, you'll notice that when you're on throttle, you don't feel it move around. And then when you come off throttle, you don't feel that bobble either. I definitely think it's worth the like $40 that it costs and the kind of painstaking install I mean all in all it's pretty easy the hardest part is getting the bushing back onto the transmission or the new bushing onto the transmission and then for the Megan Racing inner tie rods I know that in the install video I said that it supposedly makes the steering response faster. It really doesn't. Like the steering feels exactly the same. And by that, I mean the input speed feels the same. You do definitely get some more feedback out of the wheel though. So before, if you'd hit a bump, you'd kind of feel it. Now you can definitely feel it. You feel everything through the wheel, which I love car feels way more responsive you feel more confident because it feels as if you have better control of the car it also adds from an eyeball about like five degrees of steering angle which helped out a lot when I took it drifting so that was pretty cool uh, one thing to note is if you're even running the stock wheel specs, you're gonna need spacers. Just like a five mil, maybe a 10 mil, uh, or if you've got a different setup and you have a more negative offset on your wheels, it should clear the chassis, but it does hit at full lock. Uh, we didn't have time to check any of the measurements or anything before going to the drift event. We didn't have check, time to check the clearances. So about halfway through the day, I found that it was binding because the tire would be hitting the chassis and causing a very difficult time. But as long as you're not on full lock and you're on the stock size, then it'll still just barely clear. Um, when you put the car to full lock, and you essentially let the wheel recess that little bit, then that will show you the stock steering angle as well. Um, later, I'll be able to do just like an outside video to kind of show what I'm trying to say with that. It's a little difficult to explain, but all in all, those are definitely worth the $114 after tax and shipping. I 100% would say get that is a mod regardless if you daily drive the car, you do spirited driving, you track it. It just makes the car feel 10 times more responsive 
and it's great. What's up, Zeke? Uh, 